what's going on everybody and um, welcome to your ninth HTML and CSS tutorial in which we'll be discussing about images in your HTML document now images play a very vital role in your document because they make it uh, graphical and user-friendly and would act like a breakpoint in your document for the user to view now images make your document interactive and using HTML you could insert images or basically any kind of image in your document so to do that we have a special tag for image which is IMG tag now IMG has a bunch of attributes for you to use and let's see what they are so we have IMG and with the help of SRC attribute we give the source of the image and it's relative to path and for example I have this image right here which is an image of the truck and if you have watched Interstellar then you know that this truck is from that movie but anyways then SRC would accept a image file name and for example mine is right in next to this file in this the same folder HTML and CSS so what I'll do is I would just write the name of the image but for example if my image is on Google servers for example like google.com slash image then this was this would grab the image from google.com so since my image is right now for image.png then I'll just do img src image.png and let's close this and let's reload the browser and you can see as you can see we have this big image loaded in our browser window so using img tag you could insert image with the help of src now we have another attribute called alt which would uh, basically supply as an alternate text when your image is not available let's say I write truck in interstellar movie now this is an alternate text which would appear if in some case due to maybe server failure or any other case this image is not available to the user <coughs> so let's say for example for now this would be obviously available every time because this is stored on my computer itself but let's rename it to some image which does not exist right here so now let's reload and see what happens now as you can see we see a broken image icon but it provides some information to the user that what this info or uh, basically what this image was meant to be uh, what this image was basically showing uh, in the first position so all using all tag you could uh, supply some information that would appear if your image in case does not load and then we have the title tag uh, title attribute sorry now this title attribute would uh, using this title attribute you could give a value to it and let's say I give truck just truck to it and let's reload this and when you hover over your mouse with this image then as you can see we see a little notification pop up down here which says truck this one so this appears because of the title attribute and if you modify it to anything then this would change accordingly so that's how you work with images in HTML and we have a bunch of more tags like width and height which allow you to specify width and height for your image but actually I'm not interested to teach you this because this is kind of HTML4 stuff and I will want you to learn only HTML5 things and we would learn this width and height in your CSS section instead of this HTML1 so for now let's just leave it to SRC and alt and title only but if you wish you could experiment with width and height but I would not recommend using you using width and height on your production site instead use CSS for modifying width and height of image which we will learn 
in our maybe after two or three more tutorials or maybe who knows the next tutorial so i'll see you then and uh, don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching